podcast on saying they've never played a game not high. That's that's, that's my point, Paul. Yeah, no, and, and is that and, back in the day? This yeah. would, this would never be said. No, it, it would never have been said. Yeah. But but well, and yes, yeah. but no, like like I agree. Yeah. Well, not, where I was going to push back a little bit was yeah. that no, like 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 I had a coach who he helped the uh, I had two coaches. One helped the the Cowboys during like the nineties for like uh, training camp. The nice. other one w- was a trainer for the Bucks. Right, he was an athletic trainer for the Bucks, like assistant, yeah. and then went to high school ranks. But anyways, they both told me stories. Uh, one was they walked in on a, a big wide receiver for the Cowboys back then, won Super Bowls. We all know has a coke issue. Okay, mm-hmm. but yes, room checks. Michael Irvin. His room, you saw the mounds of coke. Like, like it was not hidden. Okay, he 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 parted in front of everyone's face. Uh, heard similar stories about Warren Sapp. Yeah, but these guys heard, are these guys are outliers. No, no you're mentioning we right. knew, but but like you said, we knew about Michael Irvin, and people used to look at that in the '80s, '90s, and they'd be like, "What the fuck? That guy goes crazy and party. Nobody can do that." Was an outlier. But hey. but 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 hold on. But but yeah. but, but the but thing is, it wasn't. Warren Sapp and them. They they would they would walk around and he would say like talk about like like drug use and all that but they had the the the, the drug testing things like like the dates posted and that's where they say like if you fail a drug testing and fail you're just an idiot like you definitely try to fail because you you're given the time you're Ricky, given a day Ricky we're talking to you hey, Paul's talking to you hey, Ricky Williams listen man broke my heart as a child but thanks to Ricky Williams smoking weed I was like hey it has to be all right right like oh my god like, I didn't think that because how everybody acted was once again. How the fuck is he an NFL running back and avidly smokes weed? And also, also, everybody universally, you're a fucking idiot. Not for that. Everyone called him an idiot. Yeah, not even for that. You're right that that is the case. But I'm saying, like, everybody, like, just like you're a fucking idiot. You chose weed over an NFL career. they They had cartoons talking about it where his agent was a joint. Because, because it's like, because it's like, because it's like, yeah. But again, but yeah, it's a different time. It's a different time, but still, like, like, like when you look at it, a guy like Floyd. Yeah. doesn't drink, doesn't smoke, doesn't do drugs. And you look at the type of That's athlete he was, and you look at the type of the boxer he was. I think that in boxing and in fighting, as you know, there's a different type of stamina and cardio that you need. So I think that, that during camp, it's wild to sit there and at least be advertising, well, hey, I'm smoking a shit ton dude, of weed. Well, it's, 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 but it's in response. To, people are saying, like, yo, you're a cokehead. So he's saying, I'm not a cokehead. I smoke weed and I drink. Okay, well, I guess, yeah. I guess that's the way to mellow it. Yeah, well, it's true. Right? Yeah, it's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know I mean, so well, but I mean, I don't even agree. I don't even believe that. That's why I think it's interesting that you're pretty confident in it because it's like for me, he looks like a total fucking out of sorts drug addict. Again, man, th- these YouTube stars, man, he became a YouTube star over boxing. Well, first of all, I've done a lot of partying. I've participated in, a, you know, just about any- some I've parties. Never, I've never fucking shot up or you know smoked heroin or crack or no. I'm like, proud. Crazy shit, but you know I've turned up for real. You know what I mean? But yeah, I know what people. And I've I've been to the fucking. Depths. Warehouses where most, I know what people look like on some shit. So like even yeah. the I don't know. I just I don't. You don't see it. I, I, I mean I I, I, I respect I, that. I, You'll know it more. I did the tally. I've seen many cokeheads. Shout out to my entire family. I did the math. Eighty percent of my aunts and uncles are crackheads. Literally. <laughs> oh shit. Uh, yeah. So I was like, damn. I was talking to my girl the Eat other the day. Statistics. We did the math, and I'm like, well, how the fuck is that even? Because in in society, obviously, when you meet people, you give them benefit of the doubt. You're like, oh, I'm yeah. wor- I'm working with you at McDonald's. You're not a crackhead. I'm just gonna assume. But in reality, motherfuckers obviously probably is. Is it not yeah. fair to say? I mean, you can call a lot of people do meth. That's crazy. Fucking, um, don't know as many racially, as those, not racially right. profile, but what is it called? Uh, what? When you profile someone, right? Yeah. yeah. People, Judge. People have like you can look at someone. And go, oh yeah. Like, you, you, you hit the fan. Buddy, when 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 their mouth is closing in on itself, you know that that they, they eat some glass. Style. All right, <laughs> all right, like 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 no, like like your God. mouth just don't close in on itself just yeah. from, from fucking eating chips. Hey, before I forget the story though, back to like yeah. smoking and just doing whatever before fighting, whatever. Uh-huh. My dad told me the story one time whenever whenever he went to uh, England for the USA. And your dad was a kickboxer, by the way. Yeah. Just so audience knows, new people. Uh, two time will kick you in the yeah. fucking head. Yeah. Anyway, though, yeah. whenever he went over really for the, to fight for the USA shit, he said that whenever they're at one of the pubs. That they were just turned up, and then uh, there was a group of guys that were like fucking smoking hella cigarettes. They were, just, they were just chilling with, you know, whatever smoking. They had a bunch of speed and shit back in the day. Yeah. And uh, they said they party all night. But he said whenever they went and <clears throat> fought the next day, he realized that like half the guys that were there were the fucking fighters mm. that were part of the <laughs> whatever team they were over there. All, all on speed. <laughs> well, smoking cigarettes on night, speed and shit. And he, and he said like, 
It was probably one of the hardest fights they've all had. Uh, USA was he part? Was he partaking? I don't know if that's like. Uh, I don't know if he told me that, but okay. he was telling me the, the fact. That of course, he, he said, his "Son, I, I was mean, drinking I, water." My dad is a partier. <laughs> I, I learned that for a fact. But he's yeah. not a partier. No, he was. He was. He was. Yeah, he was. Okay. I, I didn't inherit that for nothing. Yeah, yeah. 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 that was but, it. But he was yeah. like, he was like, dude, I realized, fucking, you know, it's the fifth, sixth round. I'm tired. These motherfuckers are just standing up tall, and I realized these are the motherfuckers smoking and doing. Um, Speed at the bar last night. Yeah, they did it again. Sure. Yeah, they one did one it at the arena. Man. Woke up on some speed. <laughs> yeah, basically, they would fucking like each round just go to the fucking corner and take a hit of cigarette and fucking fight again. Hit of a cigarette. Bro, well, 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 that wasn't old days of NFL and, and shit where they would go <laughs> smoke cigarettes at, the, at halftime. They're not touching the weights, bro. Nah, as soon as the fights were done, they were like smoking cigarettes again and shit. Like, this is their lifestyle. And they could go and they'd fight hard as fuck for 12 rounds straight. You know yeah. Mean? It's like, dude. Yeah. I mean, I mean if you train your lungs, you train your lungs. I mean, I mean, Honestly, and that's something like uh, they had like uh, fighter pilots and stuff would be on speed. So it definitely does something for your like focus and things of that nature. Buddy, so I imagine what? for sure, you know, uh, you know what? Kamikaze I, pilots to, you to know go they, do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're right. You're yeah. right. Yeah. Oh, Holy shit. With a bunch of PCP to dive yeah, shit, I'll get on meth too. I'll, 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, honestly, uh, and then as far as like just from like a focus standpoint, people take Adderall. It helps them focus. That's fucking speed. That, uh, yeah, it's yeah, drug. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. why. Yeah. Do not give That's it to your children. They will become do. drug addicts later on in life. They will love it. Okay. <laughs> they will be... uh, <laughs> but why uh, is my kid on drugs? Well, oh, did actually, you give him Adderall or Ritalin thing, at you know, ten? Let's hop back in this. Fucking leg or arm, they'll give you blues or something. Next, thing you know, they're fucking buying heroin. When they go... Or you have a relative who crashes a miracle into a tree story. just so they can go get some some pinkos. <laughs> Crash into the tree on <laughs> purpose. It's like what the fuck? Okay, so when you're releasing it. How are you releasing it, or are you keeping it for yourself? Because it looks like you don't want to keep it. This is him talking just because we pause it for a minute. Uh, Andrew Tate is asking Ryan Garcia how he's going to release all this evidence that he has of uh, the elites fucking kids in the forest. And the hard-hitting questions we did not ask. (laughs) Man, if I'd have been there, I definitely would have had some questions for her. I don't. At the right time, I'm going to release all of it. But after the fight at the right time i'm gonna do it <laughs> they're already calling me to tell me to stop i don't give a fuck after the, dude. After the pay-per-view buys come out. i've already had a meeting yeah. with- he's like i'm actually going to release it on the pay-per-view you have to pay for the pay-per-view and i'm going to release all the evidence <laughs> yeah. on it yeah i will release the documentary <laughs> it, but you also in the have middle to of to round six, six. Round. yeah, <laughs> yeah, six, yeah. <laughs> hey, it's, it's hey. Round six. Right. six in these shirts oh, right. whips <laughs> i'm gonna let you sit with that andrew yeah oh all right, all right, bro. Well, I want you to know that either way, I'm praying for you, and I hope that. Do you think Andrew Tate really is a god? I, mean, I don't that, give a absolutely. fuck, bro. Mostly. Oh, uh, okay. Alex, yeah. Fair enough. He, he really, he really. Can't, 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 the really only follow. reason they can't stop I mean, I can't me is say, I'm saying they he, listen to the devil. I listen to God. God gave me authority. It's over for everybody, bro. Over. Ooh. Yo, and about to go Defcon Christ, uh, <laughs> but. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, no, I mean, I think that... Cancel. <laughs> I think there's no way to say from this perspective as far as, like, does Andrew Tate believe in God or is it just, like, a ploy to get him out of trouble? I think that's possible. Hey, I'm, um, I'm not gonna lie. But I, I will say he reps that. the internet if this shit is fake. If this shit's fake, yeah. you're, you're done. Yeah, right. take, take might a just, break. I might completely avoid this well, shit. Well, I mean, what... I'm, tired of all the, all the bullshit. And, and the and bullshit. I'm, I'm blocking Ryan. You know, he might not know yet. Yeah. Hey, check, you're he goes, fucking blocked. Dude. Somebody let Ryan day. Garcia know we're blocking him if this is fake. You do day. not play around with one the day. fucking kids. How dare you lie to sit in politics? Well, you don't. Day. You don't lie about fucking. This is a wild thing to lie about. You could lie about a million things. Like I know that. I know that they're taking money from the social health care program or something fucking like that. She's Brett Favre. Relatively, allegedly, allegedly. Re- relatively uh, harmless. Rumor shit, because you're talking about like kids getting fucked in the gut. Oh, you, you, you yeah. by the way, somebody. Me? Yeah, well, no, I'm saying you're the like one of the biggest proponents of like, oh, this is shit that people take and weaponize. And yes, it fake. is. So I, it's like, I would expect you to be upset about this just as much as any of us. I am. Like, I am. I am yeah. infuriated. No, he, he's not mad at all. No, he's listen, listen, because because these guys <laughs> are just bull- yeah, no, I see no, guys. because it's not it's not it's it, 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 listen, I know they're bullshitting, <laughs> but it's just like at this point. This is all it, this is like, like yeah. it's every day, the same type of bullshit from these people. Yeah. Okay. So Ryan, tell us your story, bro. Okay. Hopefully you're not on drugs. Let's see the drug test. You're going to have to take a blood test for, before your fight. So hopefully that clears yeah. the whole okay? situation where, because I, that's another thing about taking drugs right before your fight. You got to take blood tests leading up. Yeah. Like, like, like you're getting tested. So it's like, 
What are we doing? So uh, uh, it is what it is. He's either going to fumble hey, the, a bag or it's all bullshit. The junkies, man, they're 10 steps ahead of you, brother, on that. Hey, right? Dan, yeah. you're right, bro. What the Lance fuck Armstrong, he, hey, was, this, he was ahead of those tests for shit, many like years. Some, like, MK Ultra type shit, and they just fucking make me go crazy and a bunch of shit. Yeah, bro, he threatened. Listen, Oscar True. De La Hoya. I'm just saying, okay. MK Ultra. That's they're they beefing, get, and he I, said, I believe, we ain't beefing no more, are we? I'm not going to say I believe, but I feel like, you know, it makes sense that if they use MK Ultra, that's how celebrities end up crashing out, dude. Yeah. Well, I mean, but don't you think it's? It, I think Spears it's is like the major fucking. You know, I think it's just as likely, though, to be honest, that projects. there's people with mental illness. Some people with mental illness. We already we already know that there's a portion of those people within society. We've worked with people that are like highly functioning, but then you see moments where they break. Um, so then, just imagine putting that some putting that person on a worldwide scale, yeah, and that kind of that could also still happen. Somebody could have yeah. a a mental break. I mean, like even in his in the press conference that I was referencing earlier where they were saying that he was doing drugs, a lot of what he was saying is like the, the weight of the world's on my shoulders yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. So, I mean, and I empathize with him a lot. He definitely seems like he's, uh, I don't want to say, I, like, like I said, I don't want to say cracking because if this is true, then it would make anybody go nuts. Oh, um, but it does seem like there's like this progressive kind of like spiraling that he's doing. Yeah. So I mean, to say you got, you got, um, all right, you know, you got, you know, to say you got exactly, yeah, we keep on because the crazy. shit he keeps on getting crazier and crazier that we actually keep forgetting how crazy it even started. He started yeah. where somebody on his fucking his, his social team? media, is this? no, somebody on well, we don't know because that didn't get no, like clarified. Supposedly, clarifying. after he said it, supposedly, whatever happened over this weekend when he was gone, his crib got broken into, his shit got stolen, his phone, and all this shit. People took his phone, and now, now, whatever, right? So then he also said that. People are controlling his accounts. He's locked out of shit. Right, and, and then like, this, he said that they that they brought him in the woods now, and, yeah. and and took advantage of him. Kidnapped him. They they they. No, well, no, they, 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 they. I guess they took advantage, but they made him watch kid. Yeah, and then and yeah. then and then they made him watch kitty stuff, which probably which, triggered the what you know, which what the, how know, did happened. how is that done? Well, if it okay. happened, or this all and then what's the point? Like, yeah. Like, 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 was it like a hey, a blackmail for a blackmail? You're gonna blackmail someone, and they're blackmailing you. Is it that you didn't want to hang out with them no more? They said, Well, guess what? You gotta watch kids. Hey, no, you gotta, you gotta do this now. What? Is, Where, why were you with these motive? people? Who were these people? That's a good no, point. Like, it'd be crazy if Devin Haney's parents or, or you know, the whole team is behind some like, bro. Shit. God, it's it wild. His it, Devin Haney has actually he spoke out about this and he said it's all fake. He said this is all an act. Yeah, so it's all the self fight. Yeah. <laughs> bro, in the wildest way. <laughs> That's what I said. Like, and I agree. Like, yeah. I think I think he's sound a fight. I don't know. I think he might be going through some shit personally. Point. I'm trying to make sure I, I, I think I, he's I, fucked I, up. Yeah, oh like, no. I'm like, yeah. Bro, you all right, bro? Like, yeah. Yeah, no, for real. I, I, I hope he's all right. I hope it's all. I think though? these I think he's fucked up. This is way too extreme of a shift in behavior compared to like what we've seen to this point, to where I think that this is just a strategy to sell the fight. I'm with Billy made a great point. If this is fake and the the more that you interface with the internet and like especially when you're doing something like this and you're trying to like make shit pop on the internet, you see you kind of take note of other people's strategies and you see how much of it is like bullshit. Like, oh, person gets knocked out, you find out everybody's involved in on it, or like the prank channels where it's all bullshit. Yeah. So it's like devastating. Uh, yeah, so like with this it is devastating. Yeah, them prank channels fuck me up. I'm like, y'all fucking fake. Bro. I'm out here risking my life when I'm fucking 13 with this. Bro, that's what I'm saying. We had real people. Go, no, like, oh, like, yeah, there was real. Bro, bro those people going real. going to the hoods and just doing the dumb shit. Ain't no way. I, I'm pretty sure Boonk Gang was real. That's no, why he's no, like, Boonk at was, to this yeah. point, he's like, yo, I he fucked got, up. <laughs> yeah, no, no, there was some, there was some crazy shit out there <laughs> that, that then, yeah, the, the stage shit kind of. Y'all are assholes, bro. Oh, oh yeah, there's some assholes, man. Shout out to our fucking Holy Gabbana or whatever the fuck he goes by now. Gang. Oh, he's Holy Gabbana. He yeah. like, <laughs> bro, okay, so so let me ask you this one. Was Tyrone real? Was he really going around saying that shit? To, he like, got oh, shot, I'm pretty sure. Yes, that's what I thought. Like, really? Yeah, like, but that doesn't even mean it's real. That's how much we're in the fucking simulation. We don't, don't, don't know. Also, yeah, motherfuckers get shot they, for the internet. No, you know, also, I'm going to say I'm gonna say pre-2016 was real. On some like normal petty shit he was already doing, but just because he's tired on the internet, they're like, oh, look, he was doing this when he got shot. He's he like, said nah, he had fucked somebody. He was that's right. That's the shit already. That was what his thing was. He's like, I will fuck your wife. Yeah. I'm Tyrone. I'm gonna fuck your wife. And it's like people are like, what'd you say? And then it's like, yeah, like 